This is the Lady Chapel. The area is reserved for prayer and contemplation, so there's no photography or talking permitted in this area. What you're looking at was not part of the original design of St. Patrick's. Construction on it didn't begin until 1901. It's modeled loosely after smaller chapels in Europe's great Gothic cathedrals, many of which are dedicated to the Virgin Mary. Compare it to the rest of the cathedral, and you'll see it's more fancifully decorated. Take note of the mosaic at the base of the altar, for example. It was designed in 1942 by Hildreth Mier, a world-famous Art Deco muralist, and depicts the Annunciation when the Virgin learns she is pregnant with the Son of God. Mier also has work featured prominently on the exterior of Radio City Music Hall just down the street. Just above the altar is a statue of Our Lady of New York. Below her on the altar is a golden vessel known as a tabernacle. It contains the Blessed Sacrament, the bread and wine that's blessed and given to Catholics during Mass. Vicki Downey explains. We believe in transubstantiation, that it actually does become the body and blood of Christ. And as Catholics, we believe that we're actually taking Jesus into our body. The chapel seats 110 people. Most of those who get married at St. Patrick's have their ceremonies here. The crowning achievement of this chapel is undoubtedly its stained glass windows, described by one critic as flaming jewels of light. The primary color here is blue, a color associated with the Virgin, and its center five windows depict the glorious mysteries. Christ's resurrection, ascension, the descent of the Holy Spirit, the assumption, and the coronation when Mary ascends to heaven and is crowned queen of heaven and earth. 